Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Manila FM. And today we're going to take a look at a new season. Now we're uh, playing 2031-2032. Uh, so I've now been 10 years in this role, which um, I've got a little Steam achievement for it. But yeah, so I'm coming back into a new season. I, I, I was going to show you the end of the last season, but literally nothing exciting happened at all. We actually finished lower than before. So if you go back a couple of seasons, we finished 8th, so it just missed off the playoffs by f uh, 3 points. And then last season we finished 12th, with a bigger gap between us and playoffs, it was about uh, 5 points. Yeah, there we go, 5 points. The only exciting thing, exciting thing that happened last season was that our youth team won the division. And I think it was the first time they won it. Yeah, it was the first time they won it, so they came fourth in their first time in the third division. Then they managed to pull second, and this uh, last season they finished first. Um, yeah, so we'll see how they do this season. They're sort of on top because they're two, two, uh, sorry, one match behind, and they got six points. So they should be doing really well this season as well. If you look at our development center, uh, we've got lots of really good players in both our teams. Um, have a look at this for a second. So, like all these players have got great potential, and a few of them have got some really good uh, ability going on already. Uh, our end of 23s is full of talent as well. I've actually dropped a couple of players into this that we're not using this season. Alex McBride, our uh, um, Engash sort of player, and Adrian Springer, the fullback, the right fullback. I've dropped them ju just for a season into this league because I've got, ha found a couple of different solutions for those positions. So we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. So yeah, so lots and lots of really good talent. Uh, I probably need to confirm some contracts, but I just let it go until until some other offers, you know, until they try to be someone tries to steal them essentially. Now, as far as the current season, I've already played a few matches. Uh, just to kind of test out players. We've not scored a goal yet, but we've not conceded a goal either, so that's good. Our goalkeeping is actually really good this season compared to previous years. We're doing really well uh, in, in the sort of um, stats comparison. Defense-wise, we're still lacking some speed, and I think that's an issue with all of our um, areas of play. Stamina for midfield is an issue. And speed's going to be an issue again in attack. Lacking some speed. Physical attributes is our main downfall. Mental and technical act, uh, attributes are quite good. Overall. Now, let's take a look at the actual squad. I'll look at any changes. Let me pull up the notes here on the side. So we have, I believe, five new players. Six new players, rather. And a few... Um, players who've returned to us from previous seasons as well. So we have two brand new goalkeepers. We have Rohan Winds Widowson. Uh, he's our main goalkeeper. He's, he's some city, seems to be in decline, but, but I think that'll sort, it, sort itself out in a bit. Uh, yeah, so he's on loan from Hull uh, to us. And we have a backup goalkeeper, Sam Blair, on a free transfer. Um, and he was from Blackpool previously. Norwich in real life. Um, I didn't realize he was like a still a real life player. That's cool. Um, in our right side of the fence, we also have two brand new players. Um, Matthew Pennington. He's also a real life player, and he's come to us on loan from Nottingham, I think. Uh, and he plays in real life for Shrewsbury or Everton, actually, more accurately. Um, yeah, so he's with us, but the main player for that position is Callum J. J. Jason. They're both pretty similar, actually. But yeah, Callum Jason came to us uh, on a free transfer. Actually, not on free transfer, 5k. I didn't realise that. Uh, from Wycombe. And he was from Portsmouth, originally, and Fleetwood. In the centre of defence, there's only one player, so Sweeney retired, so we got a replacement loan. Uh, Douglas Madden, 25-year-old, uh, really good physicals, uh, which we need in defence, really. 
player like that. And he's on loan from York. Uh, no changes otherwise in the fence, so not in the left side of the fence. No changes in the uh, midfielding positions, except we have two new players that return. Two players that return to us. So Huno from um, Uho from last season. Everybody remembers Uho. He's starting to become a bit of a regular for us. And also Jack Waterston, uh, who was with us for, I think, four years now. Mm, only three. But we, I dropped him to the under-23s under last season for a bit. Um, but he's back with us now. Brown left. He wanted to leave. No changes in the um, wings, either, in attack. Except Jack Nolan's back. Because I sold uh, Mark Doyle. He was starting to get a little bit too old and slow, so I sold him off. Uh, Jack Nolan is back. He's not very good, but he tends to score quite a bit, um, given the chance. In the engage position, so as I, as I mentioned earlier, I dropped um, Mc, uh, McBride down to the under 23s and I went and got Pierre, uh, Kiri Pierre uh, from Luton. He's also a real-life player. He must have been just old enough to be in the game. Uh, from Bristol Rovers, Aston Villa. Um, yeah, so he's he's our new Engash, uh, along with uh, Giscom. And no changes in attack. So Will Pope, who actually wants to leave, but I think uh, hopefully he'll stick around. Uh, and Stephen White, who made quite a lot of progress last season. Um, scoring quite a few in the end. He's our main goal scorer last season in the end. Only with 11 goals, though, so still lots of work to do in attack. I feel like our attack is a lot uh, worse than our defence. So if you see the sharp difference here, lots of green for our defence. Uh, not a lot of green in our attack. Not even in the subs. Not even in the subs. Yeah. Oh, these are defensive players with green on them. So we're going to play Torquay. Um... As I said, we um, have been having draws all the se all season long, including for the Carabao Cup, but we won on penalties for the first round. Uh, the prediction for the season is that we come uh, 21st, so 15-1 uh, odds. We managed to so we play Torquay for the Carabao Cup, and we managed to pull a draw and win on penalties. So um, hopefully that will be okay for us. Um, they are currently at the bottom of the league at the table. Make it full screen. There we go. Now what we really need is some goals. We haven't had goals yet this season. Uh, it'd be nice to get some uh, goals down. We still have not been taken over by any rich investor. So our finances are still completely disastrous. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Maybe if we... I'm hoping if we get promoted and someone will be like oh this is a nice little club to buy there has been lots and lots of rumors there's about maybe twice a year we get a rumor that someone wants to take over the club either an investor or one of one of the other directors or a fun group or whatever one of one of them looked promising it was like a local investor which was like mm, maybe someone has money but um yeah, nothing came of it. I think the current owner is very reluctant to sell uh, for some reason because they keep having to inject cash, so they're losing a lot of money by injecting all this cash into it. But there's a missed opportunity there for a goal by Antoniazzi. I think no one's making a move to go and score, but no one's really paying attention to what he's doing. Um, he's back down now. Okay, here we go. It's going to be a cross. Poor cross. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. Actually, let's see what this... 
Oh, that's a known goal. Well, okay. Thank you. So that's Antonia as he crosses into the area to Madden. And then this defender just decides to shoot against the post. Great. I'm going to do some subs now. Let's pause it there. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that actually. Could move it around. I've got no one. Oh, actually, I can do this. Uh, no, no, that's fine. Okay. Just to move it around and attack a little bit more. And then I'm going to put uh, Johnson in. So Torquay has gone back down to bottom place. Okay, and we have our first goal and our first win this season. It's actually, we don't have a first goal because we didn't score it. Someone else scored it for us. We are possibly going to try and stick um, another game into this. Let's see. Do the um, recruitment meeting. I always just okay these and do nothing special with them. Just because the way that I do um, transfers, it doesn't rely too much on scouting reports. Basically, just do scouting reports just to kind of get to know new players. That's basically it, just to gain knowledge. A Carabao Cup is against Millwall, and Millwall are currently in the championship. Not sure if that's usually where they are, but um, let's have a look. Um, okay, Millwall history. Yeah, they came down a little, a couple of times for, to League One, but Championship. So this is probably going to be a loss. Jack Nolan's gone back up. Let's have a look at dynamics. Looking good with that. We need some more players up here. Um, let me just reshuffle the mentoring groups to see what happens. <laughs> I still have a little bit of the um, COVID symptoms um, lingering. I don't have COVID anymore, but some of the symptoms are still here uh, with all the um, coughing and, you know, yucky stuff. All of that yucky stuff. Okay, let's see who we're going to play. Uh, sorry, who we're going to field. Um, no changes in goal, no changes needed. I'm going to have to do some changes in defense though, because these guys are a little bit tired. Uh, put Johnson back in. Whoops, that's the wrong player. <coughs> yeah, so kind of just using this match as a bit of a rest as well. And rotation. Uh, Pierre can actually stay. And I think Pope, well, let's put White in. And then for this, we are going to play him. Um, I'm going to get you out and put Madden in. Get you out and put Waterstone in. We don't need, we don't need Pope on a bench. Oh, actually, you're injured. So we're going to put another defender in. There we go. Okay. Let's submit and go. Millwall. Okay, this is probably going to be our last match for the Mil for the Carabao Cup. Um, just because Millwall is way too good for us. 
uh, we're probably not going to have enough enough within us to to beat them but we'll try so we've got an attack here got this armed recovered by the fence okay making it up the lines pretty good okay back to the top line ah davis is not having his day is he Okay, gone wide. <clears throat> That's lucky for us. Throw in. Ooh. Okay. Cross into the area. Zordani is there. Couldn't actually do anything useful with that. At least we collected the ball. Zordani needs a bit of support here. Okay, found somebody. Pierre is going to try and we're going to get a corner from that. Okay, Bradley's going to recoup the ball. Into Davis and just wide. I mean, just too high, I suppose. We, a lot of our play is focused on the left here. <coughs> okay, that doesn't work because that's too far up the field, but good idea though. Good idea, opening up to the right. Okay, there's nothing you could do really about that. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, with no defenders to support, so don't even need to see that. But that's our, their only shot on target. Oh, okay, they have three now. We'll make some changes now at halftime. Um, uh, da, 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 changing attack, maybe. Let's see what options I've got. Oh, actually, Nolan's quite good to have in that position because he tends to score, or at least attempts to score quite often. So. Okay, Widowson recovers the ball. We're actually doing pretty well considering the complete difference of ability here between the two teams. Nothing you could do about that either. No, oh, it's it's offside, is it? Yeah. Let's see how much offside was he. Oh, marginal. Okay, that's why I didn't see that. Nice. Okay, let's do... Um, let me play around with this for a bit. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine, I think. And we'll do one last sub in a bit. So our most valuable player is the goalkeeper. Uh, just under one million. But he's not even ours, he's on loan. 
So none of our players are worth much, which kind of is a bit of an indicator of how poor they are in comparison to other players, in, even in this league. But we try to make the best of it as a team as possible. Great, last sub. Um, uh, but, mm, 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 I think. Oh, actually, I can't. I think the best bet. Oops, the best best bet is to put the. Um, actually, and do that. Let's put Marthen. In. I know I'm playing two players out of position, but I need someone with heading. players are on their last legs including the goalkeeper funnily enough I mean what, uh, what I mean by that is that the goalkeeper usually finishes the game on full health and this game he's not going to finish on full health so it's being an, a tiring game for everyone okay though so that was to be expected is actually a better result than I thought um and yeah, Carabao Cup, that was it. We achieved our objective though, by uh, being competitive. We actually won one round, which was more than we had expected. So we passed that one, or is it, passed that one. Uh, and we're gonna carry on and I'll see you again in some point mid-season, mid I think, for the winter transfer window or just shortly after that. Thanks so much for watching until the end and you can also like and subscribe and check out the Patreon as well. Take care. Bye-bye.